if you guys are looking to pull some combine players as well, right now, instantmancoins.com is doubling all orders for free, and you can use my code SABER to get yourself a discount. Yo, what is going on, guys? Sabertooth here, and today, I'm finally back making some more videos. As you guys know, I have not been able to post in the past couple days, and it is so good to be back. I've been super busy, but we are back on that grind, and today, guys, there is no better time to make a video because the NFL Combine promo finally came out. We have the 99 overall Chris Johnson, plus two speed, and this card goes instantly, pretty much for 99,999,999 coins. So today we're going to be opening up a bunch of packs to get back into Madden Mobile. Guys, if you didn't know this already, I do have an Instagram account and I've stayed active sort of there over the past couple days. I posted a really solid snipe that I had today, 500k on just one player. So I post a bunch of snipes there, card creations, and other announcements on when my videos will be dropping. So I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to go follow me. Can we get to a thousand followers on Instagram? That would be pretty nice, but let's get right into it. So guys, as you know, these combine packs, 75,000 coins. I'm going to explain a lot about the combine promo today, and then I'm going to need you guys to vote later on in the episode what you want to see coming later tonight. Now, I have a bunch of different videos that I'm planning on making, and I'm getting on a huge upload grind because I have not done many videos in the past couple days. TJ Lang there. So do you guys want to see an investing video? Do you guys want to see a team review, team update, squad builder, that sort of thing? Or do you want me to go over a bunch of positional hero information that I've just figured out and how you guys should be preparing for that? Let me know. I'll drop a survey a little bit later on in the video. But for now, guys, let's talk about this combine promo. So as you guys can probably see on the thumbnail, those are some of the cards that I've designed. And I think they look pretty nice, but the only problem is those are not the cards that we got. So the masters that we have, they're all 98 overall, but they have no boost, which is a little bit disappointing. The only cards that have boost currently are the 99 overall Anthony Sherman and the 99 overall Chris Johnson. Let me know what you guys think of those cards on the thumbnail. I designed them. I think they look pretty nice. They went with a pretty similar art style to the ones that I made. But obviously, none of those cards are in the game. They would have been amazing if they actually were. But unfortunately, currently, all the players that you pull besides the Masters are unauctionable. So every single one of these gold players, as well as the elite ones you get from doing trade-in sets, ranging from 93 to 97 overall, are actually unauctionable. Let's go through one more pack and see if we can pull some of those elite cards. So you guys can see I have a decent amount of coins. I sold off a lot of my bench because as you guys know, they removed the overall cap yesterday. There we go. Russell Bodine. Bodine, 93 center. And as you guys can see, unauctionable. So let's go over to the sets. I'm pretty sure we're close to a combine master already. So I've gotten very lucky with my pulls. So you guys can see combine warrior okay so we did already have the bench press i believe we have steven paella in there right now and let's go turn these into another elite combine player see what we can get every single one of these cars is going to be unauctionable until you turn it into a master so we get another sam acho let's see if we can do the trade and set the elite shuttle so you turn in three of your unauctionable players and you get two of the ones that you didn't turn in i'm pretty sure you can get ones that you did trade in hopefully that's not the case we get a connor barwin and a will fuller the fifth so will fuller is a very good card i don't think i'll be putting that into here but we did already have a connor barwin so all we need now is a broad jump and a 20 yard shuttle i don't really want to trade in that will fuller the fifth so let's just keep going on some of these packs I was talking a bit about the overall cap. As you guys can see, I'm at a 100 overall currently. And that, as of yesterday, is finally possible. I believe people can get up to 102 or 103 overall now. Depending on the cards they have, there we go. That is a great pack. Jarvis Jones, 93 linebacker, and a 92 Sam Acho. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Let's keep going. That is a lot of profit from that pack, even though it's unauctionable. That's another step closer to one of those Combine Masters. So, the Combine Masters, we have 698 overalls, I believe. We have a 98 overall Dontari Poe, 98 overall Marcus Mariota, 98 overall Bruce Irvin, 
Vernon Davis, who's a very good card, 95 speed on a tight end. Obviously, you won't be playing over Gronk, but if you guys don't have Gronk, it's a great option. A 98 Nate Solder, O-Tackle, who I believe is the most expensive one, and a Jamie Collins, who I'm looking to pick up for my squad because he is 93 speed at the linebacker position, which is very, very solid. Now, we've spent a lot of coins on these scouting combine packs. And a lot of people think that they're not a great deal, and I would have to agree, even though we did get a Matt Bryant. For you guys who don't have in the millions of coins, I would not open up these packs. What I would do, keep playing the live event, trade in for some of those gold players, and tomorrow, especially because it's one stamina Saturday, you guys can be playing these live events over and over and over again. You can be playing combine event, you guys can be playing all pro event, which will be there tomorrow. And pretty much the all pro players, I believe the price is going to plummet. So if you guys have Zach Martin, I will probably be selling him off tonight because his price should go down a ton after a few people finish up their sets, the, get the last players that they needed, get some of those quarterback collectibles, and finally finish off that 99 overall Zach Martin. His price will go way down, I'm pretty sure, by tomorrow. Same thing with these combine players. So if you guys are lucky enough to get one of the masters today, I would probably go ahead and sell him off. Now, obviously, Chris Johnson, his price is always going to stay sky high. Anthony Sherman, his price may drop a little bit as more people pull him. But then again, he is actually extremely rare as well. So you guys can see I'm at a 101 offense, a 101 defense, and only a 95 special teams. The reason my special teams is down is I was looking to sell my 93 overall, I believe, kicker from the Steelers. I don't know why I blanked there. Chris Boswell. And his price was so high the other day because every single card that was high overall raised in price drastically yesterday because everybody was trying to max out on their overall. These packs are not doing good lately. Let's go try our luck on some trade-ins. We spent nearly maybe one, one and a half million. So these coins do go down quickly because these packs for some reason are 75k instead of only 50. I really wish they would lower them to 50,000 coins. It would make a lot more sense, but I guess EA has to be taking some of those coins somehow. Shamarco Thomas. I've never seen that card before. 93 speed. It's not a bad card, but I'm not going to be using it. So I'm going to have to trade that one in. Can we get a 20 yard we get a broad jump that may be one of the ones that we needed, actually. I think it was. So, Combine Warrior, four out of six now. Who did we just get? We needed the broad jump, Michael Johnson, and all we need is a 20-yard shuttle. So, I'm going to go over here, try our luck on another elite shuttle, turn Sam Acho, Shamarco Thomas, and a Connor Barwin in, and see if we can get a 20-yard player and pull our first Combine Warrior. We get a Darren McFadden again, 40-yard dash card, and those 40-yard dashes, in my opinion, are kind of rare. I've only gotten, I believe, two of them now throughout all the trade-ins that I've done so far, so those are definitely on the rarer side, so I will be holding on to that as well as that Will Fuller just because it's a very solid card, 95 overall. Let's keep going here. As you guys know, the I was talking about it a little bit before, but the prices on players went way up yesterday, I believe. The BCA D'Angelo Williams was up around 2 million, so was the Herman Moore. Cards like the Deion Sanders, the Brett Favre, those were going extremely, extremely high in price. I think they've kind of calmed down now, especially with the release of the Combine promo. But if you guys want some more investing advice, let me pop that survey up on the screen right about now. And you guys let me know, do you want to see an investing video? Do you guys want to see a positional hero in informational video about some huge news I've heard directly from EA sources about that promo or do you guys want to see a team builder slash team update video let me know by voting right up in the top corner clicking that I now we have not got into it yet but last video I did ask you guys to comment hashtag Matty Ice and the first two guys to do it we're very very close to each other in time honestly so I'd have to just shout both of them out the first one his name is Biggles, B-I-G-A-L-S. He said, Ma hashtag Matty Ice, I believe, two seconds before. Money Man NT3, and we get another Michael Jan Johnson, I will take that, who I believe has a Madden mobile YouTube channel, so go check both of them out 
very quick true fans and quick commenters now guys today the thing i want you to comment Le'Veon bell will take it is hashtag saber is back all right s-a-b-r and then is back if you guys want to be just smart about it and go ahead and write out the entire thing that i said i mean go ahead and do that a bunch of you guys were doing that the other video i found that pretty funny but first guy to comment exactly what i said we'll be getting a shout out next video congrats to both of them let's keep going so we're almost full on bench space we've spent quite a decent bit of coins i've made a lot of coins recently with my sniping and stuff you guys obviously i post my snipes on instagram i've talked about that before got a really nice one the other day i've actually gotten some pretty decent snipes recently if you guys want to see a sniping video let me know by just hitting that like button if you guys are still watching the video really does help out a ton and shows me that you guys really do enjoy these videos especially the coin making ones because those are probably the most fun that i have when i'm making a video i feel like they really do help a lot of people bobby mccain nothing else though a gold combine invitation a few more packs we've gone through so many coins yet no big time pulls we've gotten some decent elite combine players but honestly i was hoping for something big but i don't think we're gonna be getting that chris johnson so far i've yet to pull an amazing pull all year i did get that 96 overall eric berry who was going for three million coins just a little while ago his price has probably dropped now but really good pull probably my best all year but i've not had any of those big time ones 99 overalls bosses any of these michael vicks or chris johnson's have not gotten one yet russell boone there we'll take that anytime i see a elite combine player i get pretty excited because it's just the prospect that it may be chris johnson but of course that is not going to be pulled on this channel anytime soon i honestly just don't have the funding for it i mean i've sold off a bunch of my players i can sell off more but pack openings cost a lot of coins and it takes time to work myself up to all these coins so i open these packs for you guys and then i have to go grind snipe and make some more so we are almost to the end of this pack opening we're gonna do some trade-ins and then call it an episode guys thank you so much for watching so far if you have already it is great to be back making videos james carpenter i don't think that's a great poll but something that we have not seen yet very interesting my bench is full i guess we're just gonna have to manage all that later let's go ahead and trade in some of the players we've gotten see if we can complete a combine master to end this episode so elite shuttle let's go take a look michael johnson add him to here all we need is the 20 yard one are you joking are you joking we're gonna have to go to our sets real quick i'm not trying to cut this video so i'm just gonna straight go into my locker do a few of these silver player trade-ins because i believe we were getting silver players from the packs yes we were let's claim this and we will cycle this back to our trophies we have a big stop pile right now not as many as some other players but honestly i have not been doing these as much as i could have been i post a lot of them as you guys know and i just let them sit on the auction block for now it takes me forever to scroll to the bottom of my notifications but that's the price i pay for kind of stocking up on these players getting ready for positional heroes obviously if you guys want to know some of the news that i found about that make sure to vote up in that survey and i think that should be enough for us to have room to do one more elite shuttle player let's see i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go all the way back to my team and scroll down on my pack so here's my team right now if you guys want me to update it also you can vote for that let's scroll down i have so many trophy packs to go through i think the majority of them are 10 trophy packs because that's definitely the best way to go stocking up on those gold players as you can see not too many of them but definitely a decent amount here we go two times combine elite player pack please 20 yard right here right now bang bang we get a three cone drill and a michael johnson so not what we were looking for campus hero pack i didn't even know i had this let me open this up real quick see if we can get anything reveal all nothing we get a florida state penn state nothing too crazy there campus heroes also came out i've not made a video in so long campus heroes decent promo in my opinion some solid cards obviously they did an interesting thing with the collectibles changing them from unauctionable actually changing them from auctionable to auctionable we're gonna do one last try on this trade-in one more attempt to get a 20 yard 
was it 20 yard dash i believe 20 yard shuttle jerry hughes we will definitely take that now guys to end off this video this is your award you will get to see me complete the first of many in my opinion combine warrior cards i'm really looking for that nate solder or that don terry poe both of them would really make my day here we go guys what do you think i'm gonna get leave it in the comment section down below three two one please and marcus mariota are you joking that is the worst one that i could have gotten it's all right though at least he's auctionable and make some coins back a little disappointing but that's how it's gonna end thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are excited for me to be making videos again make sure to hit that like button this was a long one guys you definitely deserve it thanks for sticking around remember guys break some ankles and remember hard work beats talent if talent doesn't work hard i'll catch you guys in the next video peace